Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to do a video about GUI Extraction Program. So, uh, this program will allow you to legally get the Siri GUI. So, uh, Spire does also do this, but this will allow you to legally get those files on your computer and install on your device legally. So, uh, the difference between Spire is uh, this one actually does not have any uh, issues with Facebook, Twitter, and all that. So, uh, this is a it's a lot harder to install, but uh, later GUI extraction will make an easy install. But this will get all those files for you. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download the latest uh, GUI extraction from the link in the description. You're going to click continue. You're going to click install. You're going to let that go in through, and you're going to click close. And now you're going to go over to your applications folder, and then you will see i4 series right here and then you see GUI extraction and you may have i4 series certificate jar and they're going to open up GUI extraction jar so right here you can see the main window we have run open GUI folder and install on device the install on device function is not exactly uh, done yet so we just have a coming soon window right there but if we go to open GUI folder it'll open the area where the GUI will install to so uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click run and uh, that will guide you through the process. However, um, for this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose some problems if you have this. That way you can, you can let me know um, if you have any problems. So I just went to the application slash i4 Siri, and then I went to uh, the readme file. And then you can see that there is a diagnose uh, thing, and you can just go ahead and run this through terminal. So you can do both ways. You can double click the jar file, or you can go ahead and go into the readme and we're going to go ahead and click enter on the command and what this does is it opens the jar file but it also keeps the console log over here so this will allow me to know when if when or if something fails um, at this point nothing should fail but we're going to see so uh, right here we got the GUI extraction you can see that it's pretty simple up here we got an about um, it's not too customized I'm just releasing this for the heck of it and we go into about it has a little about stuff and uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead and click run and what you will need for this tutorial is you will need iPhone 4 underscore 1 or comma 1 and then uh, the 9A406 build of the iPhone 4S firmware on 5.0.1 so there will be a download to this in the description but you're going to want to go ahead and click run from here it's going to want you to go to your IPSW which we just went to. It's, uh, I have mine in a folder. I suggest putting it in a folder because it'll make a zip file, then it'll unarchive it, then uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and click there and we're going to open this file. And then you can see over here in terminal there is uh, some action going on. And then also in this finder window you can see that a few things over here are working. Now uh, from here we're going to just go ahead and uh, go into this file and you can see what's being done over here. So you can see that these files just appeared and we have a message right here. So it says click OK to proceed uh, these seven files, make sure that they're there. Uh, they should be there, um, and uh, this all depends on how fast your computer is. Um, sometimes it may take a while to unarchive all those files. But we're going to go ahead and click OK, and now this is going to make the final .dmg, which is the decrypted iPhone 4S operating system. So we click OK, and we see that final .dmg is over there, and we can see the uh, the file size making uh, going up. So, and then we can see over here in the terminal window that we just have some more uh, stuff going. And now this is going to uh, basically mount the DMG. So when we click OK, it's going to start the mounting DMG. So here we go, and uh, let's let that run. This may take quite a while, it depending on your computer speed. So now from here, it's just getting all of these files. So you can see that it's getting, 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 and then it's done. So now we are done, and we fully got a Siri GUI. So we can go ahead and click Open GUI Folder, and now we can see that in here we got Applications, Preferences. We can go to Library, Mobile Substrate, Dynamic Libraries, and you have these uh, dynamic libraries. Go to System, Library, and you can see that Assistant. All these files that um, basically make uh, Siri run are here so uh, yeah so this will allow you to just basically drag this over to your root 
and by following this readme guide it will allow you to install the GUI on your phone. Now this is a very um, kind of long drawn out process. We hope to be able to make it very easy by clicking this install on device part. But uh, basically this will get you the files for Siri legally. That way you don't have to download someone's GUI uh, online. So guys I hope this video was helpful. As always rate, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to the Siri uh, server. We are working on it uh, day and night. And uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.